Hey guys, I think you saw in my previous video, I took this priest deck to rank five legend. Uh, I'm still uh, having a great time with this deck. Um, I think this deck is super fun. And uh, this deck is going to be not affected by the nerfs at all. Uh, I know Albatross is getting nerfed, which will hurt the other priest archetypes of Res Priest. But this, this zero cards got nerfed uh, from this priest deck. Um, I've been alternating between this and this version. Basically, I'm running one less full pair for one ooze. Uh, I'm not sure what is best. Uh, I think the full pair one might be better. I probably would recommend that one over the ooze one, unless you're seeing an excessive amount of weapons. So a lot, a lot of warrior and demon hunter. But warrior are already so strong against anyways. Uh, but I, you know, I, I'm... I've been doing the ooze, but unless I, I've been starting to see less weapon, weapons, so I might be cutting the ooze back. It's really a meta choice. Um, but anyways, I've been playing a lot more priest mirrors lately. I feel a priest is going up in popularity, and I think the priest, the control versus control matchup, is a, a lot more interesting than people give it credit for. Uh, but it it takes but it takes forever. Um, and it's a really a war of attrition. It's it's a battle of resources, um, and it's a lot of times about instead of just you know like you know going face or something, it's about good resource management. Um, you know, important skills is knowing what's a threat that needs to be removed versus what's not a threat. You know, someone pops a convincing you and they go, oh, "I need to kill this." But really, you could just or even an albatross, but really you can just kind of leave it there a lot of the times and maybe just take. 16 damage because you know you're going to heal that up easily later in the game um uh and knowing what is a threat you know something like in a against a priest a, a katrina is often a huge threat it needs to be dealt with immediately um and knowing when to save removal so for example uh you know if you're playing in a priest mirror and they haven't played katrina yet and you have one shadow or death and they have maybe a decent shadow or death target you might save that shadow or death because you need to be ready in case they play katrina so a lot of it is like there's a lot of anticipation, uh, knowing what your opponent's big threats are, know what their big removal is. For example, let's say your opponent sort of liberally uses two Plague of Deaths. Well, now they can't Plague of Death you again, so you should pay attention to that. Um, you can abuse things like Grave Runes then. You can abuse uh, really sticky boards um, if you have the resources. Um, so, and you know, this applies for Warrior Mirrors as well. You know, if your opponents use both Shield Slams, you can make a really big thing. They use both brawls you can go wide um and that's something uh, you know I, even though that's not that's kind of a very standard principle of the control mirror um knowing what my opponent's big threats are what my opponent's this am i winning in fatigue am i losing in fatigue am i slightly winning in fatigue so maybe if you're slightly winning in fatigue if you got a little bit of damage and a tiny bit of board you can win but uh maybe you can't just wait there because they'll they have 30 health and you have eight so even though they're head in fatigue, you might die first. Um, so kind of just knowing your place in the matchup and how to uh, adjust strategically. Um, uh, you know, maybe you're you're behind, like maybe like you're behind on fatigue and you got to go for a tempo win, or maybe you're ahead on fatigue and you just play super conservative control uh, because you're so ahead. Um, and that's like I find that really interesting. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, some you know long boring priest mirrors uh you know maybe some of this this won't be this isn't for everyone uh so you know feel free to go in next but if you like this kind of stuff this is uh this is the long boring priest mirror uh just you know lots of hero power passes uh you know a really a war of attrition um but i i find it if you play this the, the control mirror right you could have an insane win rate um, you know, if you're if you know the, the how to play it better than your opponent, versus something like if you're playing two aggro decks, a lot of it you're a lot more victim to the draw. Uh, you can there's a lot of room to outplay your your opponents in control mirrors if they make you know the wrong plays or they have the wrong philosophies of how to win uh, or their place in the matchup. So uh, check these out and hope you guys like them. All right, always keep uh, keeping Gallic around here.
Guess we could keep time rip. I don't really know. Um, you can, it's hard to look at things in a bubble. There's, it's certainly a strong weapon. Um, but like, I mean, you compare it to... Do, I mean, you compare it to the rogue's weapon, which is a five mana three four, but you don't get to hit twice, and you don't have a hero power that increases damage. It's it's. <laughs> it's I've played against Prince Phantom many times. It's a great song, right? Thank you, Alex. Hands are doing well, but we're these days. But uh, you know, it's a it's a thing of you know trying to stay on top of my health so they don't get they don't get worse, kind of thing, you know. I mean, everything in the Demon Hunter set right now is slightly probably like overstated. As Ooh. Problem is like we we're gonna have plenty of value this game. How did we get this holy smite by the way? You guys know remember how we got this holy smite? Oh thought steal, okay, okay. Thank you, Alex. But yeah, I've talked about it like a bit on stream, but hands are like like I said, doing the best they've been doing. Uh since like 2016 um you know but they were doing really bad even like two years ago where it was i was having to have like my parents make chicken for me because i just couldn't even cook myself uh you know like basic life things just you know you know like i understand like you gotta do it but it just you know it's not you know it's like i was like vegeta with my a second pride, like not wanting to, but you know, things are doing better now. <laughs> On selling, yeah. No, I, I just have chronic pain issues, so, but yeah, but yeah, but I try and do as much, as you can see, I get in quarantine, because like one of the, one of the most important things for chronic pain is like regular exercise, uh, but like I was, you know, it's quarantine, so I couldn't go to my gym, so I bought uh, this here, Bowflex, and I got, uh, I got some, some weights, and I've been working out. Trying to, you know, I've got like, I got like workout gloves because it's hard for me to like my hands to handle the pressure, but with the gloves, you know, I can usually do it. So, hmm. oh, no worries. I, I don't know. This is this is I got I got things play. This is actually a very awkward play. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Um, Get 
that's mind control. Hey, <laughs> dude, you guys, we can't, we can't overdo the Super Saiyan song. We have to resist. Dude. Hmm. This uh, mind control is super good. gonna be a long game guys but i mean these are actually with convincing infiltrator on board usually like turns actually get kind of complicated we both have a ton of value but these are these are actually very like there's a lot of different paths uh these turns can go down um Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. I think I just want to get this hero power going, guys. The uh, problem is I just allow myself to overdraw here, but I was kind of thinking I'd rather overdraw, but maybe that was dumb. Nice about this is okay. I don't know what we're listening to. Okay, I'm going to the next song. <laughs> what is Elena's role? <laughs> oh, I am a priest. <laughs> it's true. Uh, ooh. Ooh, this is bad. Keep 
Uh, usually, like I'd say, almost never. Just assume no. I've I've had some situations where I've experimented with it, but unless you have a really good reason to and you really know the matchup, I would just say never do it. It's a bad habit to get into. It's too greedy. But sometimes the way you can, reason you can keep it uh, is like if you have Risky Skipper and Battle Rage, but like I wouldn't recommend it. Man, this is so good with this. I don't, I... What's the I decided I didn't want to use this because we have this and this, this combo is insane. Um, Like the end begins. We are all bound to fate. Another soul to consume. Not sure which one we want if we want. Ooh, I can't resist the soul mirror here. Is in Lee's room. Chair P two one, thank you for the follow. Ooh, no. That's frustrating.
So they could do another Plague of Death here. Once they do their second Plague of Death, then they're kind of out of real removal. So it's kind of a spot where, like... Right. Let me change your mind. On wings of destruction they come. Hey, um, so the end is you're a value deck, so you win by making your opponent run out of stuff, um, because you don't have um, much, you don't have like the powerful threats. So we have incredibly efficient removal, but less efficient offense. So we use that to efficiently remove our opponent's threats while not taking much damage when, on their threats. And that's kind of the basics of it. Maybe. I'm gonna win. Uh, I was trying the Highlander version. I think this version is way better. Is it better than Res Priest? I'm not sure on that, but we certainly been crushing the Res Priest mirror. All right, that's game. Another option I missed, but uh, I think the penance was fine there. The light shall bring victory. Light smiles upon the just. The thought steals OP now. Ooh, <laughs> they're playing. They're playing like a very similar deck. Do you see what must be done? All right, I'm gonna switch to song request, guys. But we have like a whole bunch of song requests from yesterday, so I'm gonna be going through yesterday's song requests. And if I'm not feeling the song, I just immediately go to the next one until we get to caught up. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's a good one. All right, note to self, be, don't play too many cheap minions. Ah, uh, this is awkward. We gotta get rid of stuff out of our hand here. I must consider His will be done. His will be done. I I don't like using those, but I feel like they're not actually that useful. Did you run quests in this deck? Uh probably not. Oh, they're, dude, they're all golden cards here. Hmm. Should I just be doing this myself, too? I mean, it could be useful later to, like, get a bunch of cards. Man, this is going to be a long-ass game, guys, just so you know. Got some convincing action going here. But do you think if you follow? All right, got lucky. No skeletal dragon there. Oh crap! Uh, that would have been very useful. You know, I've been just playing against, so I've been playing against people at top legend with priest, and I have this feeling that priest is actually okay. Um, so super value versus super value, I know, right? I think we should be like worrying about fatigue here. So ideally, not drawing cards. Well, thank you for the follow. I feel like I've been playing priest all wrong. I don't know. You have to like really save your value, but it's actually kind of like, I don't know. That would draw to worry about. Probably just crocs. Trina so OP. Maybe not OP, but well, P. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no there's no card drawn priest, so but we could discover uh with Volpera like mass to spell or something. Pretty much just mass to spell. Maybe. Or if they play Albatross, we're actually probably pretty happy. Because Albatross would help us here. Ooh, that's rough. Alright, let's play here.
So many are, uh, We have so many artificers. We could use them as like super powerful clears here. The end begins. Welcome in, thank you for the follow. And this is a pretty good uh, Solomir. I'm really tempted to Solomir. But we also could just like, I don't even, I think it's a good Solomir. Hey D4, yeah, I'll be streaming it lots more in the future. Uh, I just am trying to, uh, I just need some variety. Like, I've literally played nothing but Egg Warrior. But yeah, Fury Hunter, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Oh crap, dude. Punished. I should have traded that first, but I, I had my reasons thinking when I didn't do it, but I was thinking of it. I wanted to hit this, but thanks, Fury Hunter. How long do you think it would get from 1200 to 100? A long, long time, though. I've noticed, like, it feels like everything moves slower right now. Um, on ladder, but I'm not sure about that. Free of that blasted tower. Hmm. Dude, priest must be the new meta right now. It's like. Kevin, thank you so much for the four months. Got something to hide. All aboard the sub train. Thanks so much, Kevin. All right, let's see. Ooh, wait, what? They got Millhouse. That's some. Wait, what? What is this? All right, what are we going through here? Gotta use resources eventually, I guess. I need new parts. Fire everything and everyone. I need new parts. That's great. I hate this play. I didn't have to use. I think I just kind of panicked there.
It's always this, but I'm wondering because we could go grave runes right now. Gives them some nice plague of death plays though. Time is running out. I think I'm just gonna do this for now. Nice. This survives. We're happy. <clears throat> Wait, no. What? That's some bull crap. That was mine. Uh, I can't let them have this, dude. This like, dude is just too good. And I have, we have no answers right now. Oh. Alright. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, that would have been terrible. All right, you go play that deck, and then you tell me if you disagree, but I think it's very taxing on the brain. Priest is the brain... I'm, I'm enjoying my brain-free deck right now, you know? Hopefully they don't have mind control, guys. <laughs> Alright, uh, that was rough. But this play looks really weak. So when they do this play, I kind of have a hunch that um, they don't have a better play.
Hmm. We probably don't want to play Albatross. I screwed up, guys. I think I needed to kill this off as well. Because the problem is I give them... They can kill off my board really easily here now. Because... <laughs> Ah, so punished. Yeah, I got really punished. That was a that was a huge punish on my. I should. <laughs> That's what they got here. Two go more zoned here. But I think I'm gonna MC tech with this bet. <coughs> I'm gonna MC MC. Not MC tech. <laughs> That's a pretty crappy revive. I mean, in general, Blizzard doesn't like non legendary neutrals being in every deck, but yeah, I'm having doubts about like because I was looking into making the Albatross emote. And then I'm like, they just nerf Albatross to the ground. Ooh, classic song. I haven't heard this one in a while. Ooh, has. And we really need to... It's a brand new we could really use a death rattle so we could uh, shadowy figure it. If they play a death rattle, but... I love this song.
save this to combo with penance here. Like trying to cut a butter knife with another butter knife. <laughs> it's true. Thanks, Yields. We're in a really good spot here. Uh, I mean, we're we're both at the the fatigue, but we just have board, um, so it just puts them in a spot where, and they've used both plague of deaths, so they don't have that premium removal. Um, I mean, they have more value than us technically, but like, and we know they're holding albatross in their hand, so. Uh, yeah. Dude, these these mind controls have been brutal for our opponent, not for us. Fading if like I feel like we could just hit through this and we don't need to use mind control. I feel like it's just too uh They're kinda like Moors in the infinite here. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna our next song. Oh. Hey. Right. Ah, this is what we wanted to see. Now we can just steal this and win. The DC, thank you so much for the host. Oh, Steel for Goth would have done both. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. 
That was the next level play, Lanka. I just didn't... Yeah, they're making things difficult for us over here. <laughs> All right, well, you guys enjoy that eight hour game? <laughs> you will give me strength. The light shall bring victory. I really want to find like. I want to find a uh, Galakrond, but both of these are kind of value generators, so. I did play Artifact. Artifact was fun. Uh, I mean, it was hard for me to do the controls, but. I, 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 bet, I bet they switched to our deck. Because uh, he was playing uh, Warlock, so. Ooh, give me some good thought steals. Okay, they're playing a different deck. Um, I mean, it's 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 unconditional removal. Like, just don't underestimate how powerful that is when when you need it. You know, like removes everything. Um, like, so yeah, it's just like in certain matchups you'll know like because it's bad. Now, a lot of times you don't like need it, but I think in this we're much more of a control. I think Double Plague of Death is more necessary in this deck than it is in Res Priest. Because Res Priest, like, you actually win with tempo. Where this deck, we're just pure control. So we win, like, we almost never win by killing our opponent. Like, I don't think we, we had any game where we, like, lethaled our opponent. Like, it's always making them run out of stuff, you know? Ooh, they get double the spells here. That's pretty frustrating. We could steal this uh, Archmage for Goth here. I'm tempted to. But like, we don't... I guess it could give us double Soul Mirror, right? Ooh, that was... <laughs> that was kind of brutal. Yes. 
considered. We are all bound to our fate. More like a witch than a warden. <clears throat> now I kind of want to steal the Archmage for Goth. This Albatross is useless. We never want to play it. Because <laughs> Nerf card is useless. Oh, wait a second. We can go Solmir here. And then we'll get another Archmage for Goth, which will give us another Solmir. Do we wait? Do we go greedy? Let them play more stuff? Like, that seems pretty good. Because especially because we have Maz Resurrection in hand. Like, we could become the Res Priest. <laughs> They'll do it back to us. Yeah, it probably will. But I think it's worth the risk. I mean, it'll make this a ridiculous game. Oh, it kills the Arf we killed the Vergoth. Cause the second one's look at that. Look at that. Let's see if we can get some good cards here. We are all bound to our fate. Oh, I wish we had uh, kept that card, but... Yeah, so right now we want to like have a powerful board force. Oh, this is bad. I kind of want to get more some dragons myself and get this in the revive pool.
I think I need to take these out. There's going to be too much value. Go mass res next turn. Damn. Ooh, that's a big loss. Problem is, like, uh, I think we're losing this. We just don't have any way to answer this. Yeah, like, the amount of value. We're just going to have a hard time, like, keeping up. I mean, I need to draw a plague, and I have one in sixteen chance. It's pretty bad, and they're getting like a thousand dragons every turn. I mean, I guess so, but we would have had this similar problem, but. Do we have a full clear here? Wow, I think we do. I mean, we're still dead here. Like, we have three Mazrezes. Oh, God. Like. Let me change your mind. I mean, don't overestimate, like, Priest is hard time putting pressure on, so... This is too... I mean, they just have like, you know, pre like tons of premium minions here. It's like, how are we gonna win this? Ugh. Well, that's how. All right, maybe this can carry us, guys. No mad scientist. Okay, this is so unfair. This is four Raz Rezes. 
Like, what the hell? How am I supposed to beat that? And everything doesn't have five attacks, so we can't even... Alright. I know, right? <laughs> Wait, that's illegal. <laughs> it's a skill testing deck. Guys, they're making him more dragons now. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, okay, 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 okay. Here's our win condition, guys. We hear a power. We get the we get the guy that lowers their guy's attack. And we lower this attack to two. And then we steal it. That's how we win this game. Oh my god, imagine if we did that. Like Ooh, we can just steal this dude though. Like that's actually really good. Thy blood be born again. Let me change your mind. My hand is full. We're hanging in there. They didn't play Mazrez last turn. They played uh they played this dude. Right? Like they played a Brightwing and they played this. Like if they played Vast Res, I would have totally played Morzone. We really don't want it to hit this. Renew into plague, it would be good. Yeah. In time, all things are possible. We still have another soul mirror in our deck. I think. I hope. Maybe. We could play Morzen here. We get wait, we get two of these. We get two of these fairy dragons and a Nord Dormu. Some pretty efficient minions. I think we're gonna need a shadow word like death here or something, maybe. We hit this first, the grave runes don't go off. Okay, they have 22 damage on board here, right? So 22 is 14, okay. All right. Technically not dead. Technically. I need one damage. Hard for the habit. Priest doesn't have burst. Gosh, dang it. This timeline amuses. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how we win this. That do it? Oh, we could do double soul mirror again, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, wait. One of these dragons is gonna deal five damage to all. So it's gonna be weird. 
I think we kill off um Guys, if we win this, it would be so insane. My dream. No! <laughs> Not Yasira. Oh. Uh, I think we want to play the Albatross because we just want to not die here. All I need is like master spell here, like technically alive. Can't even kill it with this Aeon Reaver because it's a four twelve. All right, don't give him lethal here. Like, let's keep this game going. I'm I'm enjoying this over here. Okay, I'm trying not to die here with this play. Uh, being at six health is, makes us a lot more secure and not dying. Uh, but it's like, I don't know. <laughs> the easy text like. <laughs> Guys, this deck is easy. Oh God. Uh, that play might have been, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to win this, guys. Ooh, we can steal the, um, the cartouch. That counts for something. I love the steal and the, my steal and the, oh, we have the, uh, okay, I think we go Aeon and steal here. Ooh. We could also go, because uh, we don't have enough mana, we could go High Priest and then steal this. And then we get a 7 health card tut, but then Deathwing just kills us, so.
They're trading. Got big old well. Yeah. Okay. This game could be epic if we won. Uh, they got every turn they have lethal on board. I swear. Like, uh, what am I supposed to do? Never. Never give up. Never surrender. <sighs> Hoping we can use this to clear their board next turn. I hope they don't have one damage here. I'm basically assuming that they can't deal one damage to me here. Um, because, well, so when we get a great spell, it's great, but when we don't, um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is the better play. It's complicated. Like, we'll pair of you imagine getting a great spell, but we could just crap, like a silence, you know, or something. And we want to play this and we want to develop a minion, so. Shield was the, the one that I maybe should have played there, but I kind of want to go High Priest into Shield. <laughs> Chrono Breaker die RG. <laughs> Ooh. Do they have to do this play now? Ooh. Ooh. It's always Solmir. So we could. I think we wait a turn to Solmir. Oh, they have a wax of dread? Oh my god, this the game is ridiculous. Guys, if we win this, I'm giving this the most epic priest mirror. I mean this game's already epic. I, I They had four reses, like four mass reses, all with Archmage for Goth. So it's all like giant things, and we're somehow still in the game. It's it's crazy. Oh yeah. I actually wanted to hit the hit the two three. Oh, that's really lucky. That was really lucky. Now they have to do double trade and get more get more life steal here. And I wish we had uh, enough mana for High Priest plus Solmir, but... Well, how do we have three cards in our deck and our opponent has seven? Oh yeah, they have all those freaking dragons. Good explorer, come <laughs> it is, yeah. Okay, no wax of dread. No wax of dread. Okay. All right, we're gonna be top deck wax of dread ourselves. That's so gonna be great.
Uh, dropped one Volpera. Guys, we're in trouble. Okay, we just have the grave runes our wax of dread now. And then we we dominate. Well we could steal their plague of death. Okay, so we steal their plague of death, because we know they have one. <laughs> this waxer is actually very threatening here, unfortunately. Uh, the future is clear. You're yeah. I don't want to see. Guess we'll take the bone wraith. Damn. We really needed that to be like plague of death there. Problem is we're gonna get outvalued. Like we're we're out tempoed right now. We have no way of like fully stabilizing. If we're desperate we can go bow bone wraith grave rune. But let's see what they have on the town. Uh, we don't have any. We don't have any plays here. This is bad. We also could go high priest to met bone wraith here. That's another option. But oh my god, no, it's not over. It ain't over yet. Dude, dude, Wax of Dread is our last freaking card? Oh my god, it's just like, what the hell? We're dead to like silence here. Any randomly generated silence just wrecks us. And we're at the same fatigue spot than they are, so. 
In hindsight, yeah. I mean, if we'd gotten on our Waxadred, uh, we could have used, like, if we'd gotten Waxadred immediately and got in on the Waxadred, that could have been our win condition. Uh, the problem is, they can trade this off and get another Waxadred yes. over and over again now. Um, Ugh. Disgusting. We're losing this, but it is what it is. I'm trying to figure out a way we could win this, but I don't see any. Or you can use this to clear potentially on a future turn. It's been a long game. Dude, I'm surprised everybody's still here. I mean, there's a there's a market for this kind of game. People like oh god, they can just steal They can just steal our time rip here. Maybe they didn't get it. Uh head motions. <laughs> Why would they trade off our waxes right here? Son of a gun. Okay. This is new. This is new. This is new. Time is running out. Oh, I'm dead. I miscounted. Because I forgot we have fatigue damage here. We're dead. We're dead. We tried. Oh, I forgot. Wait. Oh, that's poor health. Yeah. Hey, Nazim. I mean thing is if you want to get good at long control matchups you got to hang in there you got to fight you got to stay alive so 
if you give up in those spots, you're never like, that's how you like, we almost won that. So it's like, you know, we, we could have won that, you know, get like just a little things different. The light shall bring victory. Light smiles upon the just. What if we thought stealed into thought stealed? That'd be pretty sick. Did you know when when demon hunters are converting to priests, you got something going. Yeah, I don't know if it's the right play. <laughs> oh, keep the beer, the beer, beer assumption. It's true. I mean, he's a Highlander deck, um, and he wants to draw cards. So, I mean, it wasn't like that obvious. All right. I mean, we have to beat Yasira there. So it's like, if you don't have a play that beats Yasira. Okay, I can't stand this version, dude. This is Kim's bot. We have Kronks, so we can we can win in fatigue easily. <laughs> Wait, real. Dude, look at this freaking hand. <laughs> we have so much like removal right now, but we don't. <laughs> yeah, powerful. <laughs> Double. <laughs> we could go uh, Soul Mirror here, but. I like Vodemus better. Oh. We want these at the res pool. The more albatross is here, like the more likely our whip victory is here. Um ooh. Is clear. 
Your power value, yep. I mean, you just have to outvalue them. Priest can't put on much pressure, and because we have the Albatross in our deck, uh, we should, if we play this right, we should win in fatigue, I'd say, 99% of the time. Now, realistically, saying we should win 99% of the time is like when you say <laughs> condoms are 99% effective. <laughs> but realistically, people make mistakes, so... <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll know someday. Hopefully. <laughs> <Red card. laughs> okay. Why are they going faceless here? That can't be right. They're res. I'm pretty sure they're just straight res priests here. Oh, I baited them into the. I baited them into the grave runes here, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I intentionally did not damage their guy. <laughs> oh, that was great. I want to kill this. Okay, so we go... Soul Mirror here, that's four, it's down to five, and then we trade, and then, so I think we go Breath first, and then we go Soul Mirror, um, and then this will be at seven, it'll be at seven health, and then, actually, no, we want the additional health, I think, on our minions. We can just do Penance here with the trade. Is there a deck code for this bad boy? Um, I just been copy pasting it in. It might be. No. Ah, dude. Oh, they didn't get this. That's really unlucky for them. Yeah. 
Thank you. I didn't even know I was playing around it. <laughs> That play was atrocious, but I just was like panicking, guys. I'm panicking over here. <laughs> Sorry. That was a bad play. I, I know. We have double grave runes in hand right now. Like, we just have so much value. We could do Archmage for Goth plus Thought Steel to just completely replenish our value if we need to. We go Solmir, but I think we can go Bergoth plus Sykes split. Like that. Or we could even, like, we have a stick of minion, we can go Grave Runes. Alright, here we go. Uh, this isn't Highlander. It's uh, just straight Galakron. <laughs> Look how ridiculous that was. Oh my god.
Ooh, no! Oh my god, it's gonna do it over and over again, guys. With the soul mirror. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Just give us infinite arc, Vergas. Guys, look at the amount of grave runes we have. It's just ridiculous. Alright, I'm trying to see if we have a good way of killing this. Alright, I'm going to risk killing my own Vergoth here. So I need, we just need to get stuff out of our hand. I'm gonna play Albatross here, even though it uh, even though it makes the fatigue worse. I just didn't want to get crap out of my hands here. Try more. Hey, Heat Seater. Ah, dude, is that dude? Come on. I probably shouldn't have played this Albatross. I don't know. We're fine. Let's see. Let's see when next level and grave runes are albatross here. Another soul What do you think is we have two more grave runes? You have been. <laughs> uh... 